Welcome back to my computer course from zero to hero. This is the last on 1.4. Uh, we will talk about software and the operating system in detail. The last lesson we talked about the hardware that is the physical components of your computer. So if you are using a laptop, is your laptop. If you are using a desktop computer, is the case of the desktop computer and what is inside is called hardware. By contrast, the programs that are run on the hardware are called software. What is the software? There is the operating system and the, the drivers. And the, the drivers are programs that uh, will interface with devices. So for example, a printer driver will let uh, your computer print your stuff. It's very tied to the operating system. And then uh, all programs. So, so there is Office automation programs, and so Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and or the uh, Open Office suite for image manipulation. So Photoshop or any program to watch pictures, photos, or games. Games are are programs, and the Internet browser also is a program. So. Let's talk about the main operating system that is um, widespread in the market now. Is here with me uh, a friend. Her English is not very good. Also, my English is not very good. And uh, do you know any computer operating system? There are um, many software. Uh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm just recording live, so <laughs> I'm guessing she didn't get the question. <laughs> okay, so the most um, adopted operating system in the world is Microsoft Windows. I think you are using it, it now. Do you know this operating system? Yes. The another, and uh, this operating system is free or not? No. <laughs> it's not free is um maybe you think it's free because uh, you find uh, mm, in your computer this operating system but uh, mm, the maker of your computer give uh, give around one hundred dollars to Microsoft for license this operating system another uh, operating system is the apple Mac OS. this is a logo from the nineties and a free operating system that is not very widespread in not very tech savvy com user computer user because it is not very easy to use it's becoming easy but it's not very easy to use that is linux so let's do a little bit of the history of operating system so in the beginning was the microsoft dos Microsoft just uh, bought a license from a Seattle company to sell this operating system to IBM to be printed in their computers. And uh, it was limited. Only one program to be run at the same time. And uh, it, it could not be competitive compared with the Apple Macintosh that it was around the sa same age the Apple Macintosh uh, had m um, window and um, a graphical user interface was easy to use so um, in effort to make it easy to use uh, Microsoft made a layer on the DOS called Microsoft Windows and uh, it was like a program to be run on the Microsoft DOS. And then on the 1995, Microsoft announced a revolution that is not very a big revolution. It just, uh, they hid the DOS, hidden. They may, um, the user cannot see the DOS anymore, making it easier to operate. And uh, have a Windows 90, 95, 98 and Millennium Edition to run on, on it. This approach was not very um, not very efficient. Mm, it was very easy to have a blue screen. Have you ever had a blue screen? 
like uh, is a computer crash because the core of the operating system was in 16 bits while the other programs were 32 bits so it was not uh, uh, optimized was not uh, very good so they decided to take um, some code from Windows NT not some code they, they decided to dump the previous code and take the code from Windows NT and Windows 2000 NT uh, we are not clear what is the meaning of NT and but uh, we can suppose it is new technology and in fact is a new technology that is doesn't run on top of DOS is a standalone operating system and this led to Windows XP and uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 on the other side Apple Apple si operating system uh, started without um, base just uh, they directly started with a graphical nice very nice at that time was very nice user interface that was very easy to operate and they just um, expanded that one and then they noticed that um, they choose to make it run on Motorola CPU if you watch the previous lesson you know there are many makers from the CPU nowadays the most user is the Intel CPU and the AMD that makes the, a CPU that is compatible with the uh, Intel CPU, okay. So they made the, the operating system for another kind of CPU, and that they decided that, that CPU are not good, and also realized that uh, the whole system is not good because uh, cannot keep the pace of the um, technology. So they based the new operating system on next step unix and made a completely new operating system mac os x that is similar to the one we know is on sale on apple macintosh computer like the imac or mac mini and this operating system is not compatible with the other operating system and then they also decide to uh, change the CPU to the Intel one about Linux it's impossible to make a quick history because uh, there are just too many just see on the left on the right not on the left oh my God. <laughs> on the right these uh, lines are every fork of Linux just uh, because uh, a guy named uh, Linus Torvalds made this operating system that was free as in like a uh, free beer and free as in freedom that means uh, you don't have to pay to use it and at the same time you can see how it's made this operating system so you can m modify everything you can make a new one and uh, distribute around with a new name so that's why there are hundreds of different names and distribution even the most common just some okay for today that's enough maybe I was uh, confusing, confusing enough I just if you like this lesson just check later for other lesson if you want to know more about uh, operating system you can just Wikipedia or the last name for the Linux scheme. Thank you for watching.